<clears throat> All right, guys, I'm going to make this quick video here. Um, and I'm going to share screen. I'm going to just show you this little progress that I'm doing. Uh, share screen, share screen, boom, boom, boom. All right, I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to just show you. Um, if any of you guys, I'm sure, you know, know about that 1099A process, um, that's, I believe, there's a different way to do it. I'm not going to say that's wrong. I have not known anybody that's been successful with it personally, but uh, some people are saying that they do, but I don't know. I don't know them. There's a ton of groups on Telegram. Uh, let me just show you the progress. This, you make these little fold. I got so much. I look at all these freaking folders. So um, I'm, I made a new folder. I just called it billing error, but it should be, you know, discharge debt really. DD. I'm going to change it right now. Um, because I'm going to show you uh, edit folder. I'm going to make double D's. <laughs> I like the ring of that. All right. Save. Now the double D's. And you see, you got to bookmark all the stuff. If you're working on a project, you know, like overnight. And then, and then the next day, you just add them in, add them in. And then the next day, you organize them. Firefox rocks. And then what you do is this. You just open all tabs, right? So, I mean, Verizon, but I'm just showing this to you as an example because I did one for my power company. I already made the video on it, but now, you know, I'm going to do all my utilities and I'm finding little pieces to the puzzle as I'm talking to friends of mine and, um, you know, particular friends of mine shared some really powerful videos. Now, I mean, I, I'll open up, this in a different tab. Well, let me just see here. All chats, all chats, um, X, all chats. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you guys a trick. Let me show you guys a trick over here. What you do is you make another, you make a, a I can't even, I haven't done it for a while, but you make a new group. Let's let me see. Yeah, new group. Um, yeah, that's what you do. New. Just to show you a trick here, just in case you don't know. Next. Oh, I have to add people. No, I want to make a folder. Create a new folder. That's what it is. This is the trick. New. You make a new folder, right? Create. Please choose at least one chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just add this. This is a private group. You have to pay for it. The 0%, uh, uh, 0 um, YouTube channel. I'm a member here. I'm a paid member on the Patreon. Save. Now watch this. That's it. Now what you do is this is where you have all your bullshit chats that you don't even know what the hell's going on over here. Oh, look at this. I don't know any of these. I don't know like um, more than half of these people because people send you. I know you can make yourself private, but but look, you do this. Now you just do my groups. And look, I only got like 20, 30 people in here. You know what I mean? My groups. And you you, know, you make a new one. And then you just add people here, uh, you know, like for different categories. Look, go to the right and edit, add a new group. And then you could also pin them. You know, if you have like 20 people here and then you just pin them. So that's a little trick there. All right. So what was I showing? Um, uh, yeah, here, here. I mean, while I'm while I'm at it, you go over here. And you do, I mean, I'm a part of all of these 1099 groups. You know, there's a ton of them over here because I, I was on that bandwagon for a while, you know? I was on that bandwagon for a while and the Christopher Houser stuff, and you know what I mean? Um, look, look how many of them there are. Oh, no, these are comments and stuff. But um, where I'm getting at is, so now about that 1099, a process. I haven't found anybody that's been successful with it, but there's a person, you know, an angel that has, she's been throughout all of those and like, you know, but you only hear her in certain, in certain videos. Um, 
and I'm not even going to say her, uh, you know, her name really, but she's very, very, like, she's very knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. And I have some videos that have been shared to me privately uh, about her process of discharging debt. They have like uh, two videos. One's about an hour and a half. The other one's like three hours. And I've been, I've been hearing her, you know, for the past year, ever since the 1099 Christopher Hauser stuff came out. But now, um, she's her process is doing 1099c makes a lot of sense now i want to go through this here quick because look you gotta look at what i found over here you use this for anything for any utility or i'm doing my next thing is costco so you just do it because they offer a lot of stuff at Costco. They offer home improvements. Uh, they offer auto loans. And then I'm a I'm a customer for like three years. I don't have no, I'm going to apply for credit cards with them. If they deny me or decline me, you know, uh, I'm going to do this exact process. And what the process is, is I'm mean, just say, hey, look, look, Costco corporate, corporate. So let me show you, you know, I'm going to do corporate, I'm going to do CEO or CFO. Let me just, you know, so I can get that page with, yeah, with the people. So chairman of the board, right here, executive vice president, CFO, perfect. Costco, this is what I want. Investors, Costco.com. Because there could be subdivisions, governance, board governance. <laughs> I like that. Board of directors, because it's like a private membership. So now I'm going to apply everything that I'm doing here. Now, watch this. So this is the public company, Verizon. It's the public company. You know, probably even should be all caps. How I know that? I'm going to skip over here to right here. So Verizon. 40. I guess I had that, but I don't have it now because I had another page right here. Verizon Master Trust. This is the top, top tier company. And where did I see? I know I saw something. Um, 800 million prospectus. Verizon. There was somewhere where I saw something. Now. Oh, trading, right? Because this is a publicly traded company. Um, I'm not even going to go there. So so if I do, if I search for a, a Verizon Form T1, now I'm finding out what Form T1 means. It means trustee. So uh, let me go in sequence here. So what I'm going to do, I mean, just for this as an example, I'm going to send one to Verizon, whatever I send. I have a packet. It's my own personal packet. Nobody's doing, you know, it's, it's, I'm basically sending them three things. I'm sending them, uh, I'm sending them a excerpt of my trust, you know, like two pages of part of my trust, because you can never send them a, a, your, your entire trust, you know, just an excerpt that, that says that I'm the beneficial owner of my birth certificate, that I have a copyright notice, I'm sending a, a copy of my copyright notice, I'm sending them, um, you know, the one from copyrightdepot.com, and let me see, maybe I should just do this quick, if I... One moment. All right. And this is another little trick over here. Um, you know, when I'm doing this, I don't want to type, right? So first thing I'm sending them is um, billing error notice. Three pages. And that, like, uh, it's probably, it's not really a billing. I sent that as a billing error notice, my first one to my electrical company. But um, now I'm probably going to call it something like uh, uh, billing discharge notice or something like that. If I follow this, these steps that's being, um, you know, shared um, by this person. Second, I'm sending them excerpt of declaration 
of trust, three or four pages. Give me one moment here. Uh, Google Drive. Um, credit repair. Nope. Credit. What is uh? Right here. Basically, you know, you make a folder for each project. You know what I mean? I got one right. I got one for for uh, PSENG. You know, but that's a big company. Uh, power, uh, electric, and gas, and stuff like that. So, billing error notice, fee schedule. That's the the excerpt from the trust. Copyright from copyright.gov. Uh, proof of service. You 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 know, uh, look up and do a you know, search for like a proof of service. So it's like an independent proof of service that doesn't have to be notarized. Uh, and then also you could notarize stuff yourself with, with your corporate seal. Uh, if you, you could pretty much make it up, you know, honestly, you can make up something with a uh, title of nobility name and then that's it. You're the, um, you know, you're the, you're the notary. Uh, like you could say like ambassador or something or the Duke of, you know, the Duke of Brooklyn, you know what I mean? The Duke of, uh, you know, of New Brooklyn or the Duke of the, your, uh, in your native tribe, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I can't be Duke, but it's going to be like princess or something like that, whatever. Uh, and then just a scan of the, of the invoice. I mean, you know, I, I'm just trying it out, but, uh, you know, I'm passionate about it. So I'm going to do that. So that's it. Basically, uh, I'm not even going to go through this. Since I showed you here, that's it. A couple of these. Now, I'll minimize this. Back to this. All right. So first thing you do, you find their corporate page. You know, make sure it's not like a subdivision. Make sure it's that toppest tier, like we did with Costco. Right? Like we did with Costco. It's got to be the toppest tier where it has the CFO. So I would send it to him, boom. But, uh, come on. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the sec.gov. You do a search, you know, for Verizon. How you do it is this. Let me show you. You go to the largest one. Mm -hmm. You go to SEC, you know, companies. Uh, uh, I think if you just go to SEC, there's always it's always going to be there. You type in the name, you know, Verizon. And you find out which one of these is the largest version of it. This you have to do a little bit of research. But, you know, you go here, right? And... You got to get the 10K, right? And then you find out, you know, it's just get 10K form, Verizon Communications. I, I went back and forth with these, you know, like uh, searching until I found the largest company, the one that really had the 10K report. Now, uh, so then over here, you press Control F, find, trustee. All right, and then you just go down, down. And if you go through all of these and then, then it goes back up to the top. So, right, so all of these are the same. You look at the date, you see the date right here, December 1st, 2000. Then you go to the most current one, fifth, fifth supplemental, down, down, down. Then you got to read through this. You know, you got to read through this and get the names of these companies and read it, read through it. Because I had to read it like 10 times to figure out who's what and what's what here. And then you start searching for them. So now, okay, you, so we did this. And you find the company. This is the 10K. So then you do the click and find like we did here. You know, see, trustee, you see down below. Then... 
uh, this is just uh, this thing was uh, like evaluated. This is the top tier Verizon Master Trust. This is the top tier. You see how it says AAA. Uh, it's basically like some type of uh, audit, some type of uh, ratings, you know. So this company is like some this guy here, Rahul Mehta. He does, you know, ratings and stuff. Let me just turn something off here one moment. Okay, now. Then you go here. So now I found it's a little bit out of order here, but from here, I'm going to close this. I'm going to bring this here. So from here, you you find that company, Wilmington. I found it somewhere else. Oh, right. So I was looking for Wilmington Trust. But you got to do Verizon form. Where is the other one? Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. So now what you do is you do Verizon, sec.gov, to the company, Verizon Master Trust. So I kind of like did some work here to find out that this is the top tier company. Right. And then I went to here. And Verizon Master Trust was the top tier. You see, it has Celco Partners, DBA, Verizon Wireless. This is it, um, to my knowledge. Then you do CF again, control F again, and then you do trustee. And then you find out here, tap down right here. Owner trustee and indenture trustee. These are the two things you need to, to find out. So these guys are both trustees. Then look at what I found here. Then you do a search for this exact name, right? Owner trustee, Wilmington Trust N.A. Formed, uh, and then I started doing T1. You see, you do a form T1. Afterward, do you want to find this form T1? Do whatever you have to do to find it. It's basically on the SCC.gov. So if I do, uh, you know, well, I just did it. Well, I did it over here. Owner trustee will make form T1. Form T, oops, one. See, SCC Wilmington Trust nationally opened it up again. It's exactly what I found here. Look. What you got here, Wilmington Trust National Association, exactly. I, the EIN, exact mailing address, and the, uh, you know, the council. There's no, these guys are very, both of these companies, U.S. Bank, which we found from that form, you remember, Wilmington Trust and U.S. National Bank. They're very secretive on people. You can't find the corporate page for these people that show that show names. At least I tried. I spent like 20 minutes trying to find a CFO. They don't have. These are like a bunch of like high top tier investors or something. Who I don't even know how that works, you know, because I'm out all the way down here, you know, in the trenches. These people are all the way who, you know, whoever knows. A lot of these companies are owned, owned internationally. So, so we got the one here, EIN. Address of principal executive offices, uh, vice president and account. Do I have my right glasses on? Yeah, and this person. So, if I would, uh, so I CC, I'm gonna do when I send anything out, I'm gonna send them like a 1099C. I'm finding out. So, uh, what this person, this individual is, is sharing is that she's sharing a lot of stuff. I don't know what level you guys are on, but just to put the pieces of the puzzle together, what you do is you get uh, any any bill or invoice, even a car purchase, and then you take it. I have a Fidelity account, and she's training on how to get a Treasury Direct account, which is easy. She said, you know, it takes five minutes. I was I was there. Uh, I think I might have even opened one up. I can't remember, but um, this is like last year or so. But uh, I do have a Fidelity account, 
uh, because you got to find a bank. Fidelity is good because they don't deal in um, cash. You can't even make a deposit in cash at a Fidelity bank. You can only either do checks or securities. So what you do is you take the bill or invoice and then you, you know, you scan it and you make a copy of it on bond paper. And then you do a couple of things, put some stamps, you know, get it canceled out at the post office. They, they, the post office puts their stamp on it and then you deposit it in like a Fidelity account. Right. And then you also might have to do a UCC on it to um, basically uh, put a lien on the account number, uh, you know, on the account number. I, I haven't done it yet. But just to give you a little idea, then what you do is um, then you send them copies of that. You send them a copy of the UCC, a 1099. Uh, you send them a copy of the security that you deposited into your you know, fidelity as the pass through to the treasury account, treasury direct account. And then these people know what to do. These trustees are bankers. These people, they're not going to fuck around especially if you're going to send them a copy of your fee schedule, like a short version, not the full version of your fee schedule, just like a two pager. You know what I mean? That, and also that it says that you're the uh, beneficial owner of your birth certificate and then um, your copyright and uh, you, and then a 1099C. So those, those things right there. So let me see. Yeah, I did it right. So these are the two people you're going to send it to, you know, address it to them and to this person in in like one line. You know what I mean? Like this person, uh, will meet the trust national association, uh, you know, Robert C. Feidler, vice president and counsel in the second line, then the address, same address. You see that? And then you do the same for this and that's it. I really wanted to share this because this is where I'm at right now because I'm working pr pretty much, you know, uh, no, I'm working on that document right now. I mean, I'm just doing Verizon Wireless, you know, but I really should be doing, you know, something that has more value, but I'm just taking them one at a time. Utility is the most important thing. I don't want to get that cut off because they did cut it off. Um, you know, they, they cut it off in October and I wind up having to, you know, pay some money for that because I, I just didn't pay my bill for a couple of years. And, um, but I only sent it to the, I only sent it to, you know, the main corporate, corporate address. Now I'm going to redo that one. Uh, uh, and I'm going to add a couple more things. So that's about it. I, you know, we went from finding out a company, right? Going to the SEC, like a court, finding a corporate page for a company, the top is tier, then going to the SCC, find their 10K report so you can find their uh, indentured trustee. And uh, so you can find their right here, the owner trustee and the indentured trustee. You know, everybody's been talking about this in any of those groups. If you know anything about the 1099, you got to find these two people. Uh, you got to send it to them. They're going to know what to do. And honestly, you could even make one line that says, uh, you know, I'm not familiar with, you know, all the, uh, you know, the back end mechanics of uh, banking, but please make this go, you know, you know, please, uh, you know, use anything at your resources to, um, you know, follow my orders, which is to basically, um, you know, send me a send me a monthly statement that shows zero, make any miscellaneous adjustments that show a zero, uh, you know, amount due and please refund me all my overpayments that I've made in the past, you know, so you can get the money back. Believe me, they're not going to want to fuck around. They're going to send it either that, or you got to be prepared. Once you go this way, you got to be prepared to go to court. I am. Now I'm prepared to go to court because I got everything, you know, uh, not exactly 100 percent. I have my foreign, uh, you know, express trust with a foreign trustee. They will not let that go to court. They will mediate it. You're going to arbitrate it. Every court has every other large civil courts. Uh, they have an arbitration desk. They even have it on particular days, like Wednesdays. They'll have, you know, uh, they, and then they basically buy mail. They um, basically, what is it called? They uh, 
it's been handled it's been handled out of court privately even though you do all the all the legwork to take them to court you um they wind up mediating it because they don't want to go to court they're not going to send somebody to court right you rather than have one of their secretaries just draft up a paper all right you know hey you know i've, I've had a large company I, I you know i i used to be the puppet master the puppet master it's like all right you're gonna do this do me a favor do the best you can draft a letter for, draft a letter for my review that handles this you know what i'm saying and like yeah well i don't know you know what handle it if you can't do it you give it to the next girl and then you know or guy you know and uh and you see how creative they get especially if you're having a bad day you know but you want to have harmony and love in your company and you, you know and especially in your office anybody near your you know your your as as like a you know as like a big boss you know anybody near you you want to have you want to have harmony you don't want to have animosity so that's how i used to have it i, I have like six girls and guys you know uh but mostly girls uh ladies um you know working for me at one one time and it was nice it was like they all loved me you know they all loved me to death and uh took care of me whenever i needed some i'm like project project all right i want everybody on this let's have a meeting and then you tell them exactly how you want it formatted and this and that and they just do it um you really have to you know you really have to mastermind it and show them how but all right so from here you get the 10k right you get the 10k then you do the control fine trustees right and you got to do a little bit of research with this to in order to find the real top tier which was the master trust uh which we found here right at the top which was the top tier was Verizon Master Trust, Verizon, Verizon Master Trust. Then you go back down to here. What happened to that? Is it that low? Come on. Oh my God. Am I in the right document? The word trustee shows this many times. Am I in the right document? Yeah, this thing is long. I mean, it wasn't coming up, but owner, owner trustee. Come on. My God, this thing is long. I'm trying to find that place where I had the thing. No, I wasn't here. Come on. Where I had them just listed on the side. Indentured. In then indentured trustee. Even that is come on, where it had them on the side. Right here. Oh my god, I had to go all the way to the back to find these two things. Owner trustee and indenture trustee and paying agent, these two. But I don't want to, you know, come out like I'm losing my mind here. Right. And then you do that, then you go here. Um, and then you go, you find out Wilmington Trust with all the details right here. So that's how you do that. So this is like I'm just gonna label it part two. Um, part two to the Owner trustee, indenture trustee. T1 means, form T1 means trustee. Beverly, if you, know, you have to you find the person's name here. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, back to this. 
Yeah. Owner trustee and indenture trustee. Let me just copy this and put it on a. On a notepad. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to stop sharing and end this. So peace and blessings to all. And um, I'll share as much as I can, you know, in my in my progress. And um, I asked a friend of if they can share this person's, if this person has a, but a, a TikTok or a Telegram group, but she's, she's, she's kind of like being really private about it because she's, you know, getting progress. And, you know, she's done this and, you know, uh, she shows a lot of information. So if I can share it, I will. Okay. I am going to stop share now and um, peace and blessings to all. Have a great day.